it's Maya from Maya Leticia Fitness and welcome to today's episode. Today we're going to be knocking out a HIIT workout. So this workout is going to be hard, it's going to be intense, but you're going to be done really quick. It's only going to be 12 minutes total. So what you're going to need for this workout is a kettlebell or a dumbbell. You're going to need a mat because we're going to be doing a plank. Um, you're also going to need a medicine ball if you have one. Again, if you don't have one of those, you can use a dumbbell or a weight as well. And um, that is about it. So how this is going to work. We are going to use a Tabata protocol. Tabata protocol is basically just a timing interval. So we are going to be doing 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and we're going to repeat that four times. So you're going to be two, doing two minutes of exercise with one specific exercise, and then we're going to follow that with a one minute plank. Then we're going to move to the next one. So the next exercise we're going to do, again, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, four times. Then we finish with a one minute plank hold move to the third, and then the fourth exercise as well. So there's only four exercises and that one minute plank in there for our workout today. So let's get right to it. Okay, so starting with a kettlebell swing, good form here, nice hinge at the hips, keeping the back nice and flat, driving through the heels and squeezing the glutes to power that weight up overhead. So we're going to be doing this for 20 seconds. You're gonna rest for 10 seconds and repeat three times. That's your Tabata section. If you need a great timer, I'll put the one to the link I like in for Gym Boss in the comments below. Next up, we're heading right to our front plank. So after each Tabata section, you're gonna do a one minute front plank. So here we're in our nice planked position. We're pressing through our forearms into the floor, not sinking through the shoulders. Toes are tucked under, glutes are squeezed, core is tight, and we're holding and breathing for one minute in duration. As we come up on the end of this plank, you're going to get ready to go right into your next exercise. Okay, next exercise is going to be an inchworm walkout push-up. So we're starting in a standing position, walking our hands out right to a plank, and then doing a push-up there, and then walking our hands back up to standing. For a modified version, you can always drop to the knees for the push-up portion. You're going to do this for 20 seconds, rest for 10, and then repeat three times. That's your Tabata section. Finish with a one-minute plank. Okay, next exercise is a weighted squat jump. So I'm holding onto my kettlebell here. Alternatively, you can use a dumbbell and we're doing a regular squat jump. So absorbing through the hips, knees, and ankles and jumping for 20 seconds. Rest for 10 seconds and repeat that three times for your Tabata section. Follow with a one minute plank hold. Okay, and last but not least is a split squat with a med ball under. So you're going to get into a split squat position. Every time you go down into that squat, you're passing that med ball underneath. You're gonna do 20 seconds on one side, rest your 10 seconds, and then you're gonna switch legs for the second one. Repeat that a couple more times to finish your Tabata and end with a one minute plank hold. All right, done and dusted. I hope you guys had a great hit workout. So take this one, try and throw it into your workout routine once or twice a week. You can always throw it in after a strength workout or you can throw it in on an off day as well. So HIIT workouts are a really great way to help boost that fat loss as well as keep that lean muscle tissue up, which is all what we're trying to do. If you guys have any other questions about programming, nutrition, diet, myth, and anything about perimenopause, make sure you guys comment below this video or send me an email and I'd be happy to chat with you more. Until next time, Stay fit and have a great day.